Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're talking spirals. How do you do it? How do you throw it? What are the best techniques, fundamentals as far as giving yourself a chance to do it? Not that everybody can do it. Who are some of the best that I ever played catch with? Who are the best I ever saw? Should be a good one. Hopefully, we get a little bit better today, too. I'm excited. Go out there, try it, spin it around a little bit afterwards. Enjoy it. Football's supposed to be fun. Playing catch, one of my favorite things to do. Just laying low, enjoying ball. So, hopefully, you all enjoy it. Let's get it started. Welcome to the QB School. Boom! All right, I think I've talked about this a handful of times on whether it be a Q&A or any other element of this channel. But first thing I wanted to do is just say, if you're enjoying this content, and I hope you are because you're watching this, but if you haven't already, can you please subscribe, hit the bell, make this thing continue to grow. I really appreciate the support, kind of the comments, the engagement, all those things. But I need this thing to ramp up here and kind of accelerate the trajectory of this growth of this thing. And so it's really going to help. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Make it happen every single time. I'm excited. Thank you again for the support. Now, how do you throw a spiral? Question. JT, do you throw off your index finger or your palm? Now, this is a question I hear a lot. And really, the answer is uh, you eventually want to throw off your fingers. You do not want the palm cupping the ball. But when you're growing up, when you're a youngster, you have to do that. You need to make some sort of progression. Same way if you're playing baseball and you're a T-baller. You know, you're not going to come out there and grab a four-seam fastball and throw it perfectly every single time. You're just going to grab it and let it rip. And there is an element of saying, like, just because you can't do the what we're going to talk about on this video exactly doesn't mean you shouldn't play quarterback. Doesn't mean you shouldn't play catch. Doesn't mean you shouldn't have fun and be able to throw a spiral. You can still throw a spiral if you cup it. There's just, you're not going to be as accurate. You're not going to be as, as kind of precise. But again, you know, if you're just throwing it around at a tailgate, who cares? Like you want to be able to throw a spiral. So it's, you can do both. It's not one or the other, but as far as the techniques and fundamentals you want to have to play quarterback at the highest level, you absolutely do not want your palm on the ball. So you want it to be, you want your fingers on it. And really the other thing about it is there is no perfect kind of like where your fingers should be. This thing gets focused here. For me personally, I'm right about here. I'm two fingers on the laces, about halfway back on the point. You can see it. So it's just, it's what works for you. But the thing that's most important is this little space right here. I don't know if you can see it. But that space between your palm and the ball allows you to really control it. You're basically throwing with your fingers. And so really, you're not even throwing with your fingers. You can throw, for me, I've thrown with a jacked up index finger before. That's the last thing that kind of rotates off the ball right at the last second to give you that spin off of it but you i've played i know people who have played with jacked up dislocated index fingers it doesn't necessarily control anything as far as tempo you know it's not going to feel quite as good it might be a little bit more wobbly than most but that's going to be the last thing that comes off the ball so you want to hold it with your fingers control it and you have to be able to do that this ball is a deflate gate ball it's a little flat but again hold it with your fingers wherever you want to get the most control i've always heard that it's the easiest to spin it the further back your hand is, but you get more control the further up your hand is, but you basically just want to hold it and be able to feel comfortable with it in your hand and be strong with it. Now, there's a bunch of different drills you can do as far as building up that strength. You know, I grew up, you know, you go to camps. It's all about your grip strength. What are you doing? These nose drills. Maybe a little roll back. There you go. This is my favorite. It's when you know you're a true backup. Bringing it back. Again, to throw a spiral. The essence of this thing. You want to hold it with your fingers. You want your grip to be wherever you feel the most comfortable. When you go to rotate this thing, the way that I always like to think about it, there's not one way to do this, okay? When you go to let it go, now you obviously, I'm not going to talk a lot about arm and where you should be for arm angle, anything like that. But when it releases from your hand, you want that index finger to be the last thing it touches. And it's just kind of a guider to spin that thing and make it feel good. Just a real rhythm tempo. I think the thing that I remember th learning the first time being like, ah, I've never heard that before. It doesn't make sense, but it, it does when you start doing it is it was always thumb to crotch for me. So you come out and I know it doesn't matter necessarily across your body, down to your pocket, in your hand, you know, whatever, like whatever, let the gurus decide that. 
But for me, it was always just thumb to crotch, spin it, um, and it's really like a screwball. You know, it's a little counterintuitive. Come out, and you, this thing goes right down to your crotch. So when you see guys play, I remember watching Steve Young, and he was always like, a, and he would like bounce it up high. But he got that same wrist action. It was just a flick, and it really is just a flick. So it's wherever it is, flick. And, you know, a lot of guys have it bounce up a little bit because they don't want to bring it down and get it hit by something I've seen. But again, it's just this thumb action, flick action of your wrist, being able to control it and get that nice, easy thing. And so for me, my college coach always used to tell me, just lay on the ground and flick it up. So you would just come back. I would do this for hours. Have it go straight up and right back into your hand. If I can do it now. Straight up, back into your hand. No laces. Then the other part of it, and this is just, you know, like anything, it takes practice. Like you can't just go out there and rip it perfectly all the time. It's a, there's a rhythm, a tempo to it. You got to go out there and play catch. Like, I don't know if that's a secret, but I feel like people think that they should just be able to pick it up and do it just like they see on TV. Well, those guys have been doing it for years, right? Some of the best that I ever saw, I always thought Warren Moon had the best spiral that I'd ever seen on TV, NFL films. I just remember being so perfect all the time, <laughs> just CFL. Washington, you know, all over his career, Minnesota, you know, I just remember being perfect every time I watch it. But as far as guys I played catch with, Aaron Rodgers, the revolutions on it, Tom Brady too, those things just, it, they spin more, you know, and nowadays they could probably tell you how much more they spin, but my ball was not spinning like that. <laughs> I used to have a little wobble, makes it easier to catch, but so did, you know, Peyton Manning, not that I'm comparing myself to that, but like, it doesn't have to be perfect every single time. I think it helps, especially in the elements, to cut the wind and cut the rain, cut those type of things to have a nice spiral. But it's not the it's not the most important thing by any means. It's a lot more important to be accurate and consistent. And so, yeah, you want to learn how to do it. You want to know how to do it. I think it's helpful to know you don't want to cup it. You want to, your fingers on it. You want to know what the rotation is off your hand. But beyond that, just go play catch, work on your accuracy, work on the fundamentals, work on your base from the ground up, and you'll be a much better quarterback. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Yikes. Around like this. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. Two. No. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Off the tracks here.